Spring 2024 has been out for exactly one day. Okay, a little bit more for 25 hours now, but pretty much one day. And uh, I thought it could be a cool idea to basically um, check out every single map in the campaign and to take a look at the world record after exactly one day to basically see what people uh, already accomplished and with what uh, strategies and maybe also cuts and stuff like that uh, people already came up with. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go through every single map, take a look at the record and uh, maybe we will all be a little bit smarter afterwards. <laughs> so, map 01. Of course, one map that already got uh, hunted by quite a bit, but we have a big gap here actually. Shadow Crancer is 08 ahead of second. So I already know that in the start you have a lot of tricks here, like you, can, you got a nose down, you can do a low jump here, like actually crazy amount of tricks this here. Then going very late over these uh, dings bombs here. Also what's also interesting, uh, you wanna jump over them in a way that you don't go smooth. You actually wanna have the air time because otherwise you would lose speed. And yeah, the rest is just like carrying that speed through until the ending pretty much. Point 8 is crazy though, like holy shit air. That's gonna be difficult to hunt. Like this start is just holy moly air. Like low jump, early gear, speed sliding, like this is so fucking technical and difficult. It's crazy. Where's Eddie? That's a good question. I w we don't know if Eddie will play this. Not really an Eddie map, but on the other hand, he's like really good. <laughs> so he can play everything. Yeah, crazy record already, Shadow. Holy moly, yeah. What do you think is possible here, Shadow Crancer? Do you think the, uh, the map still has a lot of potential, or what do you think? Zero? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, in the meantime, we will go uh, next. What is O2 even? I don't even know the map. O2, world record by Monty. This guy is cheater. So we just ignore the few cheated records in the campaign. So what is being cooked here? A German actually, the Monty guy. Speed sliding, clean gears. Jumping, okay. Nice landing, nice line here. I don't think we're gonna drop below 0.8, okay. Uh, hello guys, what is this? Yeah, hello guys, there's a bug slide on map 2! What is this? What? Wait, so he went like for... He went like for maximum speed here. And then you bug slide. Yeah... Holy moly, that looks really clean as well. Okay, interesting. Wuppertal! <laughs> Monty is from Wuppertal. Okay, interesting trick. Interesting trick. I mean the rest kinda uh, kinda 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 normal. I haven't seen it though yet, full tour. I thought it looked different. Okay, map 03, a map that I don't think many people like. <laughs> Wet tires on road. All about no slide abusing. 76% steering, small release. Ach, okay, okay. Release, 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 smooth steer, 80%. Ach du Kacke. Yeah, holy moly. This map in hunting, yeah, cheapers. Also here, smooth steering, ay ay ay. Yeah, I mean, in theory, you just want to avoid sliding out and want to push the turns as much as possible. And with that, uh, for that, you need smooth steering. I don't know. It's just like inside nice lines. Cheapers. What a fantastic track. <laughs> also, Sefi B, thank you very much for the uh, six month resub. Yeah, good luck in reading. <laughs> okay, 04 is, I think, a dirt map. It's Zodiac with the world record. Yeah, already no slide. Yeah, Drift Castle. Outside turn here, interesting. Oh, he has so much speed then. No slide, yeah. Hello, guys! Oh my god, it's like a full no slide map. And low jump here. Okay, that's kind of wicked, actually. So many tricks here, holy shit. So already here, entering the first turn with a nose slide, then here, drift cancel, into upper gear, into outside here, then speed sliding, speed sliding, speed sliding, fully nose sliding over this, average wide dirt map, yeah, and also fully nose sliding this, and then low jump here. Dude, for a wide map, this is like giga complex in terms of tricksters that you can do. Holy shit, okay, wicked, wicked, wicked. And Wubotonic, thanks for the 3-month free sub as well. Thank you very much, man. Okay, what is this? 
Oh, five. What is this? Turbo start. And then reactor plastic full inside line. Full inside line. Kinda inside here as well. Speed sliding, speed sliding here as well. And then plastic wall right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And full inside. And then the slalom. Wow, these slaloms are so scary because you have to go close to the checkpoints there. Holy. Okay, so very clean plastic lab, I would say. Very clean plastic lab. lab. But nothing too, like, too crazy or anything. Next up, 06, the only uh, tech map in the campaign, you could say. <laughs> Nein, not this guy. Min with the world record, okay. With the old Dignitas uh, TMNF skin. Cheapers. <laughs> okay, let's see what Min cooked. So clean drift here, full on exit speed. Drift here as well. Yeah, just clean line. And full exit speed here in the ending to get as much speed into the finish as possible. You're kinda clean map? I don't know. Yeah, what do you mean, Ender? There's a little bit more. Here, he held break. He held break. And here, he also held break. Is this a full auto slide here? Okay, yeah, okay. I mean, there are two drifts. <laughs> there are two drifts. I mean, it's a green tech map. Like, you cannot have like 10 drifts here. I think for a green tech map, this is a really good map. The fact that this is the only tech map in the campaign is something different again. <laughs> but I think for a green, like, tech map, this is pretty good. Looks clean. 07. Ach yeah, hello guys, my name is Kranadi and I have the world record here. Interesting thing. Why was the timer running? Uh, interesting thing. I drove the world record here earlier for those of you that weren't here and I beat the fucking cheater here Like the cheater cheated so fucking bad that you can still beat him without cheating Like absolute idiot like holy moly. How can you be so bad at like everything in life? How can you be so bad that you cheat and you're still slower like holy shit? Absolutely disgusting but yeah, uh, I'm just gonna watch it once and then I'm gonna explain you what is going on because the map is actually quite complex. It's not just a precision wood map as I thought yesterday. There's actually a lot of um, a lot of uh, tricks that you can do here in order to get more speed. So one thing that you have to pay attention to, uh, this, this map I can also explain a little bit more because I hunted it myself. Uh, one thing that you can always do on all of these grass patches is to not go PF over it. But to do like a little bit of speed sliding as you can see. It's like the same as on winter 2024-01. And you see me doing that on like every single uh, section here. Like a little bit of speed sliding. I never go straight. And then there are some tricksters on this map. Um, where you don't want to go like as tight as possible. In each turn you want to rather go like more outside. In order to keep more speed throughout the map. So one thing you want to do is to go like diagonal here to keep grip. And then here go wider and really smooth lines. Like really far outside. Because then... You get the gear before this drop, and then you will just have more speed. Then also here, smooth lines, smooth lines, smooth lines. Small speed slide here. And then also here, a little bit wider at the exit, or like full right kinda, into a speed slide. Because then you will just have a little bit more speed on the uphill, and it will just carry through kinda. And also here, you wanna get the fifth gear, like, it, it, this is actually a good, um, a good measure of speed, if you get the fifth gear before this part here. You wanna really get it before. And then the ending is just uh, tight done. And then speed slang the ending again. So not only a precision map. I mean, still is a, in the ending it will be about precision here. But uh, still very interesting with the lines that you want to take here. Pretty cool map. Maybe the lines are not optimal yet. Like, could be possible that someone finds uh, another line there. And you can gain even more speed and then snowball it through. We will see. Then, 08. A map that I uh, just hunted before we started uh, watching the records here. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy, to be honest. Smooth landing here. Speed slide. And then the most important part of the map is to go all the way to the left here and then smooth line through the wall right. And if you get it really good, you can uh, basically keep all speed through and get it full speed. Then here, no airtime, jump in the ending, and that's pretty much the map. It's a bit weird of an 08 to be honest. But yeah, in theory, it's all about um, it's all about this no slide here. I actually had a pretty good in my PB, I just noticed. But then I fucked up because I had airtime here. <laughs> And as you can see, you can keep full grip. Uh, one more trick that the world record is not doing, but what I think is faster, is to um, actually not jump off at the top, but at the side. And with that, you get a lower jump, and you can already land in this slope here, basically. 
It's pretty interesting. I think future world records uh, will be doing that. But yeah, interesting map as well. And yo, JF Clarinet. <laughs> wink, wink. Then next up, we have. Oh my god, what is this? We have 09, and they are the four Bobsley abusers are literally ahead of that idiot again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, full Bobsley map. Obviously, we have Bobsley abusers in the top. So, what are they doing? Going to the right in the start. Ach, du Kacke, Ice Wiggle. Yeah. I don't see myself doing that. <laughs> the nice line here. Oh, low jump here. Oh, low jump into no slit. Oh, okay, that's wicked. Okay, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So not only some bobsleigh here, also some other wicked stuff. Yeah, for the rest of the map, just uh, smooth lines. Holy moly. Yeah, but and there, since the latest ice update, it was all like, wasn't it like discovered one or two, one or two days later that wiggles are still faster in some sections? <laughs> Wait, that's crazy, like actually does zack, the no slide or like quantum slide up the hill, speed slide, get the gear and then smooth entry still. Okay, this is cool. This makes the map a bit more fun to play for non-bobsleigh players as well, I think. It looks like the part is actually really important. Okay, cool map, cool map. And the uh, record looks pretty clean already. Next up, map 10. Map 10, the car switch map. Let me actually see. Like, I uh, also hunted this a little bit yesterday. Not too much. But people improved it by a lot already. A point fifty seven by the TJ guy. Okay, so going to the right is faster to start. Get the rally car. What is this? Look, he gained speed. Oh my god, he was he did the wiggle. Oh, no. Nah. It's actually a thing with the rally car that you wiggle on these sections. Uh, because you lose a little bit of ground contact, and with that, um, with that uh, having less contact with the penalty, and therefore keeping a bit more speed. Look at this. That is gaining him like 0 0.1 or so. Ach, du Kacke. Then stadium car here, inside here. Then you want to go for really good speed here. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, he went for the goodest speed possible, kinda. Look at this. He went giga exit speed. And then also, once again, a small wiggle here. And you just have so much more speed. What is he doing in the ending, though? Stadium or rally? Rally. Okay, honestly, looks like a really fun map to hunt, honestly. Looks quite complex. Pretty crazy. So you have the wiggle trick here. You just left, right, zack, zack. Keep a bit more grip. Wait, everyone else went stadium? Interesting. I also, uh, like, he's taking the same paths that I also took. Like, I also thought that uh, Ready Car is gonna be faster in the ending. Because you can just go, like, more direct. But let's maybe compare with uh, Bren. There's Bren. Bren with less exit speed. And yeah, I mean, Thomas John was less than 0.1 ahead, I would say. So, Rally ending is faster. Interesting. So, here's Bren versus Things. Ah! I think it is slightly faster. But it's very interesting. Like, usually when Nadeo builds these kind of car switch maps, there was always one path which was clearly faster. But, yeah, I need a part map Apos too. <laughs> like, this is difficult to judge. But, I mean, Brent's ice slide looks like close to perfect. How would you get it better? I don't think you can get it better. But he is losing. With Rally, you just go like inside and keep a nice angle. And you also finish further on the right. Very interesting. Yeah, let's see how things will develop here. Like, TJ's run is probably... Is it still beatable? It probably still is beatable without the... Um, without the rally car ending. Yeah, we will see. But by now, it seems like rally is a bit faster. Okay, next up. 11. What is 11? I do not remember. World record by Krude. Boah, Chickwit on second. Not bad. Why is Techy in fourth? Is this the map with the shortcut that I heard about? Clean gear. Ah, no. What is happening on this map? Oh, no. There's a reactor here. No, 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 no,
Okay, wait. Normal camera. Achtung, guys. Jump out here. Reactor. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, that is smooth as fuck. So they jump out here with the reactor and perfectly land in here. Ach du Scheiße, what is this? Especially because you need to go, like you need to land smooth there, because you need to go in between the checkpoint and this here. And you have to do it in camera free. Oh my god, the champion medal is gonna be so fucking fucked. The champion medal is gonna be so impossible here. Unless this is like consistent somehow. Oh my god, how do you aim that? You pray? Ach du Scheiß. Okay, wait, let's see what he's doing input wise. So he goes right and then just left and then just holds right. PF and right. Yeah, you just need to nail it somehow. And if you're lucky, you land, and if not, then not. Okay, honestly, I think this is still a doable cut though. There has been worse champion medals. There has been champion medals that were worse, trust. Like, there were worse champion medals, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, that is uh, a wicked shortcut, eh? Holy moly. Just by how clean they land in here. Holy, eh? Holy, holy, holy. Is it just hold 100% if you exit at the right place and Chickwit says, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be that impossible. Yeah, that 118 with the two backslides was way worse. And there is also still one champion medal uh, that I still don't have. I think uh, summer 2022 map 13 or something like that. This Where you had the, the water cut in the ending. Like, holy shit. Like, trust me, this will not be the worst champion medal ever. <laughs> okay, map 12. Uh, yeah, the corner cut uh, water ending. Yeah, that one is like, I still, I still didn't get it. And yeah. Nah. Ain't happening. Map 12! Insanity with the world record. Insanity, type 1. He was in the chat earlier. So this was like the penalty grass uh, XCD map. I expect no slides. Yeah, same. Oh my god, he's like no slide. Yeah, what? Dude, he's like no sliding the outside bank turn. That's just honestly disgusting. I've never seen that. Pixel perfect no slide. Barely making it up here. Small airtime into still smooth landing. Oh my god, this, this map looks difficult to play. Keep the gear here, barely keeping rip. Holy shit. I mean, this is also a map I struggled a bit with in the discovery. Yeah, bro, he's like 0.22 ahead of second. What is this? Insanity, what is this? Like, so many crazy things happening here. Like, no slide here. Getting the gears. Keeping grip everywhere. This is a crazy map to hunt, I think. Also staying in lower gear here, actually. Holy eh. Blood gap to top 5 by 0.5, yeah. Holy shit. Middle part snowballs everything, okay. So like here, basically. So when I get like, so this part, you mean? I'm gonna see you stay. Gear change, barely keeping grip, holy shit. Ah, the no jump just before. So, uh, this here. And then the no slide. And ah, and because then you. Because then, if you get really good speed out of it, you. Uh, you jump v higher up in the hill, and with that, you get a smoother landing, and you skip more penalty. Makes sense, makes sense. Less penalty and smoother landing. Okay, so it like double snowballs. Okay, crazy though. This looks really hard to hunt. Well, that's a really impressive record already. Holy moly. Might be one of the best ones so far. Crazy. Okay, map 13. Exactly, okay, 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 okay. Interesting. Map 13, hello guys, it is Kanadi with the world record. Uh, I drove this world record yesterday. I have eight minutes on the map. <laughs> so I can explain you a little bit, but not too much about this map yet. Um, rally car on wood, basically. In the start, yeah, nothing too crazy. Just go tight, keep grip, etc. Um, then here, you wanna break. Get a smooth U-turn. Don't wanna slide, as you can see. Basically, you wanna get as much X-Speed as possible. Then here, for this turn, this is the most important part of the map. Uh, you wanna set up on the very left to get a smooth line here. In order to be quite far in the right, so that you can, like, uh, 
basically like snap to the left and you want to have good speed here and really good airtime to jump as far as possible here to keep um, as much speed into the following section and then the rest is just um, precision and full speed even here you can just uh, almost full steer as you can see and you just keep that speed all the way into the finish so it's the start is like kind of trivial then the u-turn is here important and then keep the speed from the u-turn into here into a far jump here and then just keep the speed all the way until the ending pretty much Eight minutes on the map is crazy, yeah. <laughs> it's not looking much different on the other rally maps, <laughs> Insanity. <laughs> but yeah, cool map though, cool map. I don't know what's possible here, like... I, yeah, I don't know if this jump was like really good or if you can still gain a lot. <laughs> it's hard to tell after eight minutes. I don't know, I guess, I mean, the world record will of course be beaten at some point, but... Hard to tell uh, how much uh, more is possible here. Are we going for all world records? Yes. I'm taking a look at all of them. And if you uh, only tuned in now, don't worry guys, I will upload uh, this to YouTube probably tomorrow on the Grana TV channel. So check out the YouTubes. Map 14, the ice map. Okay, what are the ice andies cooking here? Galenium, definitely an ice andy. Let's see. Oh, he didn't... He, oh my god, okay, already first ice slide, super interesting. He is not even doing a normal ice slide, like he is literally doing uh, the ice speed slide. Like, he's not having the normal ice slide, like, uh, properties. It's the speed slide things. Then here. Small over angle. You can go with an angle into the water, because the water, like, snaps you back into the correct angle. Then the, the, the usual looping, looping line that you want to do, which is to go from, uh, like, left to right diagonal here. You keep more speed with that. And then the final ice slide. This one is really hard, I think. Yeah, super inside, smooth exits, keeping much speed. Late into the water, okay. And then just uh, full speed, smooth steer. Oh my god, he's actually initiating a speed slide in the ending. So towards the exit of the turn, he oversteers on purpose. And gets a speed slide and more speed. Holy moly, okay. Yeah, I like it that it's not a full ice map, but it, that it also has some other things. Like for example, a little bit of road, you know. Um, the, the icy, the, the wet tire section in the ending. That's pretty nice. But yeah, record looks pretty cooked. Also 0.14 ahead of second, 0.3 gap in the top 5. Looks pretty nice. Is he s 4 ding I don't think so. I think he, uh, he j yeah, he just overs- Ah, never mind, he is actually- Okay, never mind, never mind. He is actually doing a small break tap even. Which is what an s 4 d is for those of you that don't know. s 4 d means uh, that you do a break tap to initiate a speed slide. So, uh, he's actually doing a small break tap, but because of the speed slide, he's gaining the speed back. Interesting, interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Looks also like a tricky ice map. Not an easy one. Might also be a tough champion battle for me, especially. <laughs> Next up, map 15. No, cheated. Um, world record by James. This is a really cool dirt map. Of course, we're gonna see some no slides again, I'm pretty sure. Small one in the start. No no slide here. Small exit no slide here. Nothing you have to worry about if you're not a, like, giga advanced player. This is basically gaining, like, milliseconds. Waiting with the gear, okay. Smooth line here. Okay, interesting. I don't, was that intended? I don't think so. Like, he tried to go for a drift cancel, but instantly got back into a slide. I don't think that was faster. <laughs> yeah, that guy uh, who's in first place um, is actually a track of the day mapper. Like, he is a known player. And he literally cheated on this map, and also on other track of the day maps. So I hope that uh, idiot just gets banned. Okay, then here, nice smooth driving. Then here, outside, into inside, into keeping the gear and keeping grip here. Okay, this is a really cool dirt map to be honest. Like, very technical and not very fast. Pretty crazy. Cheating on Trackmania 2020 is a thing? Yeah. 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 So yeah, don't have to watch for them. Don't wanna give them attention. Absolute idiot. <laughs> uh, anyway, next map, 16. Yeah, records will be removed very soon and I hope they just get banned forever. <coughs> map 16, Corny. Corny with a world record. Ach du Kacke, that's always sus. I mean, Corny is also really good at driving, but usually he hunts the weird shit and also cuts and stuff like that. But this was a really cool map, yeah, like you have like this like off-road um, 
how do you call this in like cross style racing kind of I don't know <laughs> so what is he doing so far uh, really nice lines but nothing special Ah, Bruder, what the fuck? Och nee, I have to hunt this for... Oh, man, I have to hunt this for champion medal. <laughs> nah, what is this? That's exactly what I meant. Like, when you see Corny and, like, Techy and all of these people on the leaderboard, you instantly want to uninstall the game. <laughs> what is this, man? Okay, so what is the plan here? You flip and skip? Yeah, what is the, what is the plan? I think it's just to get a speed boost. Oh my god, eh. It's clean landing and yeah, you just get a speed boost, I think. More speed. Wait, is there a free wheel here? Oh, there's a free wheel. Ah, and, ah, because of the free wheel, you keep even more speed down. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Oh my god, it only gains like 0.2 or 0.3. Okay, so you maybe don't need it for champion medal. That would be good. But that is like one of the champion medals again, which is like getting unnecessarily harder because of stuff like this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 I'm gonna probably uh, spend some more time on this map. Jesus Christ, interesting. Interesting. It's not a reset ring, it is um, another reactor ring, as you can see. This is a reactor. But uh, you just get, uh, you just wanna get the speed boost, basically. And then you carry it uh, through the free will here, basically. Boy, interesting, though. I still really like this map. I hope the champion medal is not gonna be too annoying here. Cool cut, though. Very wicked. So this is cut number two in the campaign. Only two until 16, that's... I mean, okay, two out of 16, eh, naja. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. We have seen campaigns with more cuts. Also, we had even more resubs. We had Lunox with the 21-month resub. Thank you very much, Lunox. And we also have uh, Temoish with a brand new Prime sub. Thank you very much, Temoish. And yeah, uh, on 17, I actually got beaten. I had the world record here, but Sander did a point twenty-five. <laughs> so this is a very fresh record. So let's see what Sander is doing here. It's a full rally dirt map, really cool one. Okay. So I wanna uh, get some nice lines here. This part here is full speed, but very difficult to do. Also here, small break tap. Then here you wanna go uh, as inside as possible, as you can see. I actually lost a lot of time there. Because then you keep more speed with the full booster over the penalty. Then also here, a smooth line, ping, ping, ping. Smooth line here too. Also here. But here, this part is very tricky to get full speed. He actually did a small release. Here, also want to keep the grip. Then here, in the ending, you have uh, something very important. Because you want to keep grip here with a small left to right. And then you want to use the penalty hills um, to actually get airtime on purpose. Because uh, if you would go on the right, you would just have more contact with it, basically. But if you go on the left, you're just a little bit faster. Gains like 0.1, maybe. But in the ending, of course, uh, mostly about... Uh, the smooth steering and the lines here. It's a really cool map though, I really like this one. Definitely gonna try to get that record back. Yeah, and two out of the two cuts are because of reactor boost. Hello guys, my name is Nadeo and every time we place a reactor, it increases the cut uh, probability by 300%. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, map 18. Area with the world record, Carl Jr. in second. <laughs> Nothing I thought I would have ever seen, uh, I would ever see in a campaign. <coughs> What do we have here? Some full speed in the start, speed sliding. Some tech as well. Basically a tech map. <laughs> oh, early onto the red boost. In theory also some speed sliding here, I guess, but doesn't really matter. Also a tech, ma uh, tech turn here. Wanna keep, like this turn is probably really important. Um, you wanna get as much exit speed as possible into the wood part here. Because yeah, wood always, uh, you always wanna, like in general, you wanna always get a lot of exit speed into wood. Oh, and then a small break here because you have way too much speed and then get a nice line. Holy moly, wicked. The run doesn't look that great. I mean, I wouldn't say it's bad. We can maybe compare with uh, Car J. With CJ. I mean, Carl is. Wait, I forgot to deactivate uh, to activate the ghost. Yeah. I mean, the start was pretty good. It was actually the opposite. 
Ja, Tech Abuse, ja, Tech Abuse, Tech Abuse, Tech Abuse. Dude, Carl, Carl gained so much there. <laughs> Carl also had a better ending though. <laughs> Yo, what the figgity fuck was this? What in the last turn was this? Small two wheel? Oh my god, that was perfect. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, my name is Carl Jr. But Carl's start was like, oh no, Carl on speed sliding. Ach du Kacke. Achtung. <laughs> he just went, dude, man, Carl. He's not even speed sliding on the grass. He's literally just going, pe oh my god. Why are tech players always like this? I remember there was a, there was a, there was a cup of the day map like two years ago and poker, like one of the best tech players from back in the days had the world record on it. And he just gained like 0.3 on everyone in the tech and at the ending you had a dirt section. Where you wanna speed slide, then go straight, get the gear and then finish with that. And poker, I remember, went straight in the beginning, then started a speed slide right before the gear change, got a gear down and still got the world record. <laughs> but I don't know what... <laughs> oh man, Carl. He's literally just going fucking straight on the grass. Like, what is this? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I love I love it when like uh <laughs> poker. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> poker's even in chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember that poker. I remember that. Oh my god. <laughs> nah bro, he just goes straight. Carl Jr. type one. <laughs> he just goes straight, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, like, it's like so funny when like, uh, like insanely good players in the game do like insane stuff like this, like what the fuck is this illegal task like turn, and then on the grass in the start he's losing point one because he just PFs. Don't remind me on how bad I am on other surface. <laughs> I remember when I watched, I don't know if you remember that map poker, but when I watched that record I, I had to laugh so much because your run was like so insane and the tech was like 10 times better than what I could ever do. And then on the dirt, it was like full XTD. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. But yeah, so there is still a bit possible on this map to, to summarize it. <laughs> Next. Map 19. What is this? Oh my god, the Rally Ice map. Okay. The Rally Ice map. So this one has um, a bit of uh, bigger gaps here. Mikey with the world record. So Rally Ice is uh, very interesting because, um, yeah, the main idea is that you wanna always have, um, you want your lines to be as tight as possible. So always like giga tight. And the thing is, uh, you always wanna drift with an angle which is slightly below um, 90 degree. So not, so like, I don't know, 80, 85, whatever, I don't know. Slightly below that, otherwise you slide out. That and tight lines. Then here I see they go high to get a, okay, interesting. So they go high here to again dip down at the ending and get like a more direct line here, interesting. Also here, very direct, almost getting airtime. Keeping good speed into the woods, okay. Oh, then instantly angling here, also interesting. Okay, oh, going over the snow here. Holy moly, and also same thing as in the beginning bobsleigh in the start. He just goes over the snow. <laughs> okay, interesting lines here. So also here you wanna get an unsmooth line so that you go high and then dip down to go more direct into the finish. Interesting, and then just direct here. You know what I'm a bit scared about? There is a reactor boost here. And in theory, you could get reactor up. I hope that I hope you cannot like speed slide abuse. Look at Hank is me. Okay. What is Hank is me doing? I'm scared. What is he doing? Okay, here in comparison to Mikey. <coughs> okay. Yeah, it's a lot about the angles. If you slide... <laughs> nah, bro, what is this? <laughs> oh my god. I was quickly scared that... Uh, I was shortly scared that he's gonna go for... Um, for a reactor speed boost trick, but he literally... <laughs> he's just doing a 360. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Nice one. Not bad. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, okay, okay. Nice one. I like that. Map 20 is next. Map 20. Ach du Scheiße. Okay, Wetwood map. 
This one is gonna be crazy. A Wetwood map. And you see, people already beat the offer time by 5.5 seconds within 24 hours. Elcon with the world record. So on Wetwood, there are a lot of tricks. Um, and there's a lot of, like, uh, Wetwood is also very snowball heavy. One trick that I can already tell you, um, when you have jumps into Wetwood, um, you always want to angle already. So you don't want to jump straight and then steer afterwards. You already want to land angled, like almost like in a backslide kind of. That is one thing that I know, but where else can you gain so much time here? I'm scared. But you will probably see Elkon doing this. Yeah, look, he angles already. Then absolute tap abuse. Clean gear change. Tap abuse as well. Also here, angling already, as you can see. Smooth into the line. Getting the gear. Keeping so much speed. Holy shit. Tap, tap, tap. Smooth line. He's keeping so much speed. It's so hard to keep so much speed. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. He... Did you know what could have happened? Elkhorn could have slid out here and hit full face planet. This one uh, dings here. And he would have been full dead. Holy shit. That was scary. <laughs> yeah, the gaps are crazy. Already 0.6. Holy moly. Yeah, it is very keyboard friendly guys at least uh, nobody can complain about that <laughs> crazy though I'm honestly looking forward to play this map a little bit I wanna learn Wetwood a bit more crazy 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 looks kinda wicked not gonna lie looks wicked okay yeah let's see how far this one will be pushed I'm pretty sure we are not Super close to the limit yet. I think there is probably uh, more things will be done here. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Alright, next up. The final five maps. 21 coming up now. What is being cooked on 21? Oh, 21 is the underwater dings. 0. 0.3 of a gap to second. That is quite a bit. By Suzuvi. Full speed start here. Smooth steering here. Interesting. And here, wanna keep speed. No slide, okay. So don't wanna drift. And here, exit speed really important because you keep it basically all the way. Then wet wood as well. Same thing here. Some tapping abuse kind of. Same thing underwater. Nothing too crazy to be honest. Then what is he doing here? Okay, a drift. A drift and I think you wanna keep as much speed possible as possible here as well because you have a cruise control. It's honestly not that crazy of a map. It is not that crazy of a map. Also here in the ending, very important. Uh, a drift and then stay outside here to keep the grip. And then you have some more uh, speed into the finish. Welcome back to Surf. Yeah, basically. Yeah, it's like, it, this looks like a XTD Team GL map to be honest. Like this could literally be a weird ass Team GL map. Like a softy kind of map. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I will enjoy this map. But I also don't really mind it. It's a, it's a weird mixed map kinda. Like, a, you could call it a water mixed map. Like, you have wet wood, you have water bounces, you have reactor up wood, you have underwater. Like, yeah. I don't know, it's like it's like a mixed water map, kind of. I don't know if the world needed that, but I guess people will enjoy it. At least some people. I think it's not too crazy. I think this map is okay. It's a bit weird, of course, but I think it's okay. But yeah, also no crazy lines, to be honest. Nothing, nothing too specific. Alright, next map, 22, the, the grass map. This one looked really, really cool in the discovery. I really like the aesthetics of this one. It really looks like a, um, like a, a Dingsbums map. Like an actual castle IRL. So first turn. Okay, a bit of an outside approach to get some more speed here. Then full speed here. Also here, a bit of an outside approach so that you don't have to oversteer on the grass. Interesting. Keep grip here. Very far jump to the right. That is interesting. That line doesn't really make too much sense to me, to be honest. Why would you not go smooth on the left? Why would you go like this? Feels like you have more airtime and a worse angle with that. But okay, maybe it's faster, no clue. Then into the looping here. Then the wall slide here. Very important that you um, that you go like very early right here and then have a smooth entry to it. You don't want to like smash into the wall. You want to go smooth. Then we have the wall right here. Probably want to go really, really high. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, that looks scary. Okay, so what happened here? 
You wanna go in a way that you are very high at the exit and then smooth line here and also a smooth entry to this wall ride. This wall ride is a little bit unsmooth to be honest, but you wanna get it as smooth as possible. And yeah, then the remaining uh, wall slides also just as smooth as possible. Looks very tricky. Ending some speed sliding of course. Ay 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 eh. This part here especially looks very very difficult. Like look how close he is to clipping. Like he... Like holy shit. Looks like with that line you can easily catch a slowdown. Crazy. Crazy crazy crazy. But a cool map. And this is only like 2.5 seconds faster than AT. That's not that much actually. Cool map though. World record at the end will be insanely precise. Yeah, probably yes. Okay, 23. Once again, Carl Jr. in second. This one I also really like because it's like a bit like a mini RPG kind of map. And I also really like the atmosphere. So what are people doing? Oh my god. Okay, that was already crazy. Did you see that? He did a small side jump. Like very slightly he jumped off the edge. And insta gripped and instantly to the right. Holy moly. Yeah, that was sick. Then go early down here to get some more speed. Barely clip this to jump over. Okay, bit of a PF section here, nothing happening. Then inside line here. Then you can jump very far right onto the wood. Then some rally car, but nothing like too crazy. Just a wall ride basically. You can skip this quarter pipe jump, for those of you that didn't know. Like you don't have to go high like you usually do. Because the landing area is lower, so you can just go like this. Then a wall slide. And then another quarter pipe where you also wanna reduce air time, of course. And yeah, then you have to finish. On the finish, if you struggle with that, maybe, um, the first spinner is spinning to the left. So you wanna um, approach it a little bit more on the right. So that it is not pushing you off. It's not too hard, you know? But yeah. Interesting map. I don't think there's like many spots where you can gain time here. Like there's also a lot of PFing in this map. Like at the ending you don't really do a lot. Will be interesting to play this map. Maybe I will hunt it as well. We will see. But I still really like it. Yeah, yeah, you can PF through Iridium. But uh, not the easiest thing to do, I guess. Then, 24. A map that I really like. A really cool mixed map. One minute long. World record by Limpan. Quite big gaps here as well. Almost 0.5. What is Limpan cooking? Wait, Limpan went with the inside over the snow here. But it's not faster, is it? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> then here, very important part. You wanna land very far left, like as far left as possible. And then get a smooth line here and keep that speed. You wanna keep it all the way into the wood here. Because wood just always snowballs. This is the best map from the campaign, easily. Uh, yeah, I would also say it's definitely one of the best. Then here you can keep the gear interesting. Then outside dirt here. And also here on the bobsleigh entry, you wanna be uh, on the left and then the, the gravity will do its work and it pushes you back to the right. Then you can get upper gear here. An icy tire drift, that one is a bit scary. But you have icy tires from the bobsleigh, so you don't have to brake a lot. Like, it's only like a little bit of tapping. It doesn't show up in the input, sadly, but you don't have to hold break for long. Then some plastic here, inside, inside. Also here, inside. Uh, don't wanna lose uh, things. Whoops. He didn't do a speed slide in the ending. Interesting. Why did he not SD here? Like, he just went straight. Did he try to, like, uh, quantum slide or what? Huh. I don't know. But yeah. Very clean map though. This is a really cool map. I really like this one as well. Pretty fun. And with that, we only have one map left, ladies and gentlemen. And that is map 25. Where I have the world record. Unless I got beaten al already. No, but Ecstatic is uh, getting closer. Monka. <laughs> Let's take a look at this map. This one is also quite tricky. Mostly a rally car map. But uh, still some cool things to do here. So this one, small brake tap. This part here, you of course don't want to slide. And you want to keep as much speed as possible. Then the typical rally ice shenanigans, where you want to keep, uh, you know, a, bit, a little bit less than um, 90 degree. Then just keep the gear here, nothing crazy. Then also here, exit speed, quite important, because you can carry that exit speed all the way through. Then here there are different lines, but you want to you wanna basically try to go as inside as possible. 
and also to get a little bit more airtime than what you would uh, usually want. Like you don't want to land Giga Smooth because once again it is penalty grass and uh, it just slows you down. So uh, you can go for this line. I saw that Exetic um, is opting for a different line. Maybe he's still doing that. Yeah, slightly. So you see he jumps a little bit more and he actually gained on me. So yeah, try to go inside but also to not go Giga Smooth optimally. Then here the grass, uh, I fucked it up a little bit. In theory, you wanna uh, fully no slide it. As you can see, I slid out a little bit. Then here in the dirt, uh, a little bit more outside to keep the speed. And here in the left turn, you can do a no slide. I don't know if it's possible with keyboard with an action key, no clue. And then this section here is probably the most important of the map. You wanna keep as much exit speed as possible. Because if you get good speed here, you jump higher up here and you just keep that speed all the way into the finish. You keep it all the way through here, then here a little bit lower to get some less uh, to reduce airtime. And then the ending here is very tricky. You can full speed it, but as you can see, uh, it's very wonky. Like, I barely got around, like, super monka s. Like, look at this. <laughs> so, yeah. You're pro probably just better off doing, like, a small break up there or something. And yeah, that's the map. And with that, uh, we watched all of the world records of the uh, Spring 2024 campaign so far after one day. Of course, every single world record of these will be improved. No doubt about that. Um, well, we'll see if new tricks will be discovered or not, but I think considering it's only out on... Um, it's only out for one day yet, people already cooked quite a bit on some maps. Pretty crazy.